Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike here, Mike's Weather Page. It's Friday, 5 o'clock somewhere, tropical update. <laughs> um, trying this new quickie format on YouTube, so if you like it, please uh, subscribe and comment and try to share so we can get our numbers up here on YouTube. I think it's going to be a long-term hit the more we do it. Uh, short to the point. So here's what we got for the tropics. This is my page, of course, Mike's Weather Page. I'm going to start out by, uh, we're going to look at this tropics map. I'm going to kind of just go over everything, what's happening right now. Uh, we had Hurricane Danielle form today. Uh, made, made some big headlines, breaking news, you know, you probably saw breaking news, Danielle in the Atlantic. Well, it's really not going anywhere. It's just kind of going to sit out here and not really affect anybody. So <laughs> that's that. This little guy we've been talking about for a few days now, it's, uh, it's fizzled out. There's a lot of cool water and uh, wind shear, dry air, so it's not anything. This is what we're watching right now. This is no, this is called Invest 91. We've been talking about this for a long time. A long time. So the majority of models I'm going to show you are having this thing recurve. Could go uh, east of Bermuda. Some of the models have wiggled back closer to Bermuda. Uh, so if you're in Bermuda, definitely keep an eye on this for later next week, uh, middle next week. Um, make sure it doesn't turn towards you. The, the, the bigger question is, is if this thing stays weak, talked about it yesterday, uh, we could see this thing maybe try to sneak a little closer to the Bahamas and and uh, southeast, maybe east coast. Uh, so basically, U.S. Bahamas. Um, weaker systems go west. They're less influenced by upper level winds. Sometimes they miss these turns and uh, go a little more west. So we're going to see. That's a, that's an outside chance, but it's definitely showing up on some models again this afternoon. I'm going to show you. Uh, there's nothing to worry about as of now. This uh, area is 70% chance from the NHC. So uh, could be come Earl. That's our next name on the list. <laughs> Here's what it looks like. TropicalTidbits.com. Great uh, infrared satellite. This system's always had an attached blob to it from day one. The main core is this guy right here, not this. Um, this is actually bringing a lot of rain to our, our friends down the islands. I, I know we uh, have a lot of followers down the Virgin Islands and the Lesser Antilles and uh, all, all the little islands down there. So you're getting some uh, pre-effects of... Invest 91. Invest 91 is definitely scooting off. Steering currents are going to pull it a little bit west northwest here, and uh, the main core probably will miss the, the bulk of the items, islands. But you're getting some now, no doubt about it. And it's trying to organize a little bit. Um, I didn't have this map pulled up, but let me show you real quick. There's two things uh, short term that this thing has to deal with. This is off my page, obviously. These, this is your um, system right here. That's the core of it, not this. Uh, but we got this dry air. And uh, it's going to have to battle through that. And we have a lot of wind shear uh, ahead of it. So it's going to have a rough couple days ahead. That's why this scenario of being weak could possibly pan out. Not, nothing to get anybody worried about. I've just seen it over the years a lot. The systems uh, just end up trekking a little bit west because they're weak. Uh, and then the shear map that is current right now, we can take a look at that. This might be hard to read on here. But bottom line is this, this red area right here. Our storm is here. It's got to pass through all this wind shear. So rough couple days ahead. Uh, some some uh, spaghetti models. These just came out today. This is Southwest Florida Water Management. And uh, you can see the general thinking is a turn. Uh, some of these are stopping down here. This is the Euro and a couple others. That means that they don't expect it to be organized. It doesn't mean that it can't come back. It's just the main models here um, keeping it organized. And, and look, here's Bermuda. So it's, again, we're getting a little bit of shift. And these gray lines are your consensus bottles. They're called the TVCN, TVCN line. Uh, and they kind of bend it a little bit that way. So again, 100% not certain that this thing's going to recurve and not affect anybody. Um, this is another model map. This is all your ensembles out to five days. This is a blend of your Navy, GFS, UK, uh, and uh, Euro. Uh, so it's all ensembles, and as you can see here, uh, it, it's some doing this, some doing that, and a typical bowl of spaghetti. But the light blue lines means a, a weak tropical depression, so not a lot of organization. If this thing were to stay weak, uh, it's where you know it's over here where you would start to say, hmm, you know, anything gets in the Western Atlantic could be something. So that that scenario is still on the plate. Past five days, uh, not. You know, again, nothing's certain. Now, here's a great site. This is uh, weathernerds.org. This is your blend of ensembles. I showed you this yesterday. Very curious. I like to do these uh, little quickie updates after the 12Z, which is your afternoon models run. And we still have some European ensembles at 10 days, kind of going a little bit, uh, you know, enough to just keep watching. That's all I'm saying. Uh, you know, yeah, probably two, probably two thirds take it 
this way, one third, take it that way. So it's still on the plate. So that's all we're going to talk about that. Um, still looking at some golf activity the following weekend. A little bit of moisture coming down. Uh, we got a lingering front. I'm going to show you here in a second. But a few little members saying that. Um, and uh, then we had a wave that we've been talking about, too, that's uh, expected to come off of Africa next Tuesday. Uh, the euro has been backing off on that idea, even though uh, officially it looks like it's still on the plate for uh, NOAA. They, they have it on their long-range map. The Canadian's still showing up pretty pretty strong. Here it is um, next weekend. So this is the general thinking that we've seen off and on in the models is a low rider. Still on the plate this next weekend, September 10th and 11th. Uh, the Euro's been on it. GFS off and on. CMC. So um, just keep that in the back of your mind. That's the following weekend. That could be the next thing. Coming off Africa Monday, Tuesday. Uh, and in case you're wondering here too, also, um, this little guy right here. This is um, the Canadian showing Invest 91 turning up and organizing close to Bermuda. And that would be the following weekend, toward, towards the following weekend. So, again, big questions if you're in Bermuda and, and really the East Coast of Bahamas. You know, we're, we're watching Invest 91 close because these things can be sneaky. As far as the, the, the ending of our little video here, uh, the big story, I guess, is kind of fascinating to me is that we got a lingering front here. And these purple and white uh, dot or, you know, shaded areas are rain six, seven, eight, nine, ten inches plus. It's been bouncing around Texas. Um, Sometimes these little low pressures could dip down into the Gulf of Mexico and form, and uh, that's just a really out there possibility. A couple of models have been showing that, but if you look at the uh, the model map here, just pretty much going forward, uh, this is Saturday. Now you're going to see this thing set up here Sunday. Look, it's lingering front Sunday, uh, Monday. Let's go right here. There's Monday, lingering front, and Tuesday, lingering front. Texas rains, and this is last all week. Little low pressure here on Wednesday. Lingering front on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I'm telling you, it hasn't gone that far yet. But even Friday here, we got a little low pressure showing up. So just always keep your eye on these. Not saying it's going to happen, but these lingering fronts sometimes can 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 uh, get something going in the tropics. So that that's where my head's at. Uh, it's five o'clock somewhere. If you didn't see our ABC commercial today, check it out. Um, if you wanted to support more, we have a great subscription uh, offering here on YouTube that they offer. And uh, also, you go to my website here. Um, we would love to see you join up and be part of our brew crew. Um, it is right here. Boom. And a lot of perks. So check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll do it again uh, next, uh, probably tomorrow. We'll do one tomorrow. So we'll see. Have a great weekend. Uh, great Friday night. Bye-bye.